when I was wavering. I wasn't where I needed to be with God. And uh, we may have to find something to cut up because I'm sure this is going to stimulate some thought process. But when back in my early 20s, I had moved out, was doing my own thing, trying to find life, figure it out. Didn't even nobody say that they won't listen to me. How many else? Don't you talk about? And I had went away, moved out of home. I wasn't happy. Just didn't want to do it. God's way. And I had a family praying, praying family. And uh, the church that I had been attending, amen, I had taken, I had an old ragged, I gotta find this somewhere, old ragged Georgia hat. One I had framed in, one I had done grading in, I mean, it was tattered for. Matter of fact, the funeral home director in Covington, he felt so sorry for me when we go to, me and Danny would go to Mammy's kitchen to eat. Mr. Cowan, he would have bought me a brand new hat thinking I couldn't afford to play something. <laughs> <laughs> that was just my favorite hat. I had a Z71 back then, missed that old thing. And, uh, but they had taken my hat to church. My pastor at the time of the church had prayed over and anointed it with oil. Somebody say the prayer of faith. Amen. They had taken the prayer cloth. I didn't know my mom had laid one in my pillow underneath my bed, and it was one underneath the seat of my Z71. I mean, they had me pinned down. And I'm thinking, what in the world? I mean, warfare. I'm going nuts. I'm like, what's happening? I'm like, I'm trying to do, I'm trying to, somebody say, I'm trying to do right. I ain't got to go into the whole story. My family knows. I was just trying to find my way. I want to know who God was for myself. And then had prayed over that thing. Here I am. I'm wearing a cap every day to work. I'm driving a truck every day to work. I'm doing all this stuff. All the high scenes prayer is going on. I want, I'm challenging some of you that have gave up on somebody. It's not too late. But anyway, there was a Monday morning. I was working in a chemical plant in Conrad. It was called Lyle Kim. Uh, I was too young to even have a ball one day. And uh, so anyway, here I am working there. And I remember one Monday afternoon, um, that weekend before, it was just, just, it was just hell. Somebody said it was just hell. It's hard to say that. It was just bad. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Don't judge me if you say it now. Y'all think it half the time. Yeah. <laughs> but here I am. I mean, everything's been coming blue. So I go to work. I check in with mom. Talk to her. And, and uh, that afternoon, here I am. I'm in the back quarters of that plant working all by myself. And I hear it's still small voice saying, Go home. I said, God, I don't understand. I thought I was doing right. I thought I was trying. He said, it's okay. Go home. Somebody say, pray and fast. I said, well, I got to go. He said, no, just go straight home. I didn't even call him. Here I go pulling up into the driveway on Mount Zion Road. I walk through the door, and I promise you, they were like bats out of hell. I mean, folks flying down the staircase around the corner, and here we all group hugging in the middle of the, of the kitchen. Somebody say, pray fast. What am I telling you? I don't care if it's the first day, or the 21st day, or the 52nd day. Pray and fast. Amen. We're going to pray and fast so God not only fills this church up physically, but He fills it up spiritually. I'm not building a bigger building one day or we are just to have a bigger building. It's because God wants this county saved. Are you hearing me? He wants our family members 